All right, so right here, this is the Canadian Pacific Main Line and their siding. The switch was taken out and we've got to reconnect it. So that's one of the things we were talking about with the contractors is today. We'll get a switch put back in. We'll reconnect the rail right here. And once it's on here, this is all rail that's on our property. We own this. We've got switch gear right here. So we can have a couple of different lines running in there. This basically, as you move this, these arms move over and they shift the rail car. So if you put it one way, the trains will go one way and the other way. And then if you can see here, these lines go right into that shop. So after we get this shop taken down, we're gonna have a big flat concrete pad with rail lines running through it. The value in that is crazy. Yeah, there's opportunities for reload. This is the main CP lines. So, you know, there's mines that need storage yards. There's commodities that we can bring from across Canada here that is a lot cheaper than trucking it. So there's a lot of business cases for having a rail spur off a main line. Like Travis has got a debarker to make hydro poles. So you could bring in here, bring the log reload reload, the log reload yard right there can make the hydro poles, reload them on the train, send them across hydro poles across North America. There's mines in the area that want to reload. There's commodities to reload. And like, yeah. this is a, it's a no brainer. We can load the trucks up, ship the trucks, ship things in, generate revenue. Spencer can handle the trans reload and- We'll help get it going and it'll be good.